Hey, Kelly, I did snag my tickets, and I Wait, think I'm which day? Friday and Saturday. Oh. oh, both days. Both days. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, you'll get one dry night and one rainy night. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. So before you buy those tickets, which night which should night? they go? You should go on Friday. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, we will see some dry time after our wild weather uh, the last couple days and the wet conditions we still have heading into our morning. We are under our uh, coin six weather alert today just because uh, the rain, again, is so heavy it could uh, cause some ponding or pooling on the the roads out there. We've got poor drainage, just so many leaves falling off trees and blocking those storm drains. So there's a good bet you do run into some uh, potentially flooded roadways out there and also hydroplaning, a concern on the interstate. So take it easy and drive uh, more slowly this morning. Out to seaside, there's the rain and again, those winds blowing too. We're still seeing some wind gusts across the coastline up to about 30 or so miles per hour, but the winds are starting to quiet down out there. Uh, no more high wind warning for the majority of the north parts of the coastline. Still the central southern parts could see some strong winds today, uh, but we are calming down the winds. Temperature wise back in the low 50s, lots of rain out there. Current wind speeds here. Notice how we're not seeing too strong of winds in Portland right now. They're mostly around 10 to 15 miles per hour coming in from the southwest here. Uh, we still could see some wind gusts today up to about 30 miles per hour, so it will be breezy in Portland. Those winds kind of pick up as we hit the morning, but the winds start to drop off for the coastline uh, going into our morning. Right now, sustained winds around 20 or so miles per hour hour and some gusts around 30. So we again will see the winds uh, dropping down to about 30 miles per hour, both for the coast and also here in Portland today. So just a slight chance for maybe a few isolated power outages, but these winds again are starting to decrease. Uh, we could see some speeds around 20 to 30 miles per hour, though, as we hit the afternoon here, even in Portland. So there it is. There's the rain. We've got widespread rain and a big pocket of heavier showers cruising right west of Salem right now. These showers are again moving towards the northeast, so good shot. We see some heavy rain back in Portland this morning. Just a soggy commute out there, so take it easy. It is very wet, all due to this big low system that we've been watching uh, that has now scooted inland here. So there's the cold front, and uh, we are seeing a nice plume of moisture that is stemming from an atmospheric river that is helping to bring up those rain totals, giving the system a nice boost of wet weather here. So behind this front, we have much colder air, and notice some of these lightning strikes that are flashing. We have some thunderstorms developing. Uh, offshore and over the ocean, but as this cold air embedded within this system starts to move in this afternoon, yet another chance of thunderstorms back in the mix today. So we'll keep our eyes on that radar all afternoon. Here's our future cast, and this weather model uh, shows those showers developing as we hit the afternoon. So we start to break apart the big area of widespread rain over us and introduce more of a showery pattern. So off and on rain, but some of those showers could be very heavy and develop into thunderstorms. Look at three. 30 this afternoon, a line of storms possible up the valley. We continue that tonight, and as we head our way into Thursday, we still have showers in the mix. So a couple more days of that wet weather until we start to dry out. I think Friday will be that great day to get back outside. Just a few isolated showers were mainly dry into the evening, too. And then Saturday starts out dry, but we turn wet by the evening time. So we will still see a lot of rain as we head towards the weekend, but Friday could be a nice day to get back outside. So be careful on the road today. Take that commute slowly out there. We will stay wet today. A little breezy with those gusts up to 20 or 30 miles per hour in Portland and those afternoon and evening thunderstorms still possible uh, for the city and out towards the coastline. Uh, we'll see temperatures dropping towards the low 50s as we hit the weekend here in Portland. All right, Kelly, thanks. It's 653 in time.